Hey guys, it's Shantastic and welcome to Shantastic Trill TV. I'd like to shout out the Trill ones, my subscribers, my supporters, and all of you who rock with me. Now, if you're returning, welcome back because you know this is where we keep it Trill. So guys, I am back to spill this Hennessy. So hold your cup steady while I pour because what I'm about to tell you, you're gonna need something way stronger than just tea. So guys, a South Carolina man by the name of Jason Roger Pope, also known as DJ Kid, was arrested for human trafficking. Not only that, he also admitted to giving over 690 black women the HIV virus. Pope, who was 42 years old, was charged with three counts of trafficking in persons, three counts of first-degree criminal sexual conduct, second-degree criminal sexual conduct with a minor, promoting prostitution of a minor, and kidnapping. Warrants say Pope recruited women and underage girls and had sex with them on various occasions in between September 2017 and July 2019. He provided the victims with money and gifts in exchange for sexual acts. You all, take a look at this. Nia Watson joins us live now with more on those allegations. And Nia, you also spoke with one of Pope's neighbors. Eric Meredith, these are all arrest warrants for Jason Pope. Most allege the incidents usually happened at his home here on Lakeview Drive. The documents show he had sex with and is even accused of kidnapping young girls. I suspected a long time ago things were not right over there because of who we had coming in and out. The neighbor didn't want to go on camera, but says Pope lived next door to him for several years. He says he's seen numerous young girls stop by. They look like they were very young, underage maybe, and they stayed over some, and then, then he would disappear. Documents obtained by WMBF News show in July, Pope held young girls against their will in a room of his home to perform sex acts. One of the victims listed as 17 years old said Pope gave her, quote, money and other things for sex. Other reports detail incidents from September to December of 2017 where Pope extorted young girls for sex. The neighbor says he saw several officers raiding Pope's home. He was a very secure person to himself and we're not out going around in the neighborhood. Not at all. The oldest report dates back to 2011. It shows Pope gave two victims, one listed as young as 13 years old, marijuana and money to have sex with him. The report shows the victim told the officer a condom wasn't used and was concerned Pope had a sexually transmitted disease. What's your reaction now that you find out everything uh, he's arrested for? For his daddy and mother, it's a bad situation all the way around. I feel for him, but nothing we can do. The investigation into Pope is ongoing. If you have any information on these incidents or others, contact your local or state law enforcement department. Live in Florence, Neil Watson, WMBF News. So deputies are saying that some of the victims were held against their wills in Darlington and in Florence. They're also stating that he may have had possible victims further back than deputies are currently investigating. And this is according to records handed over to local news stations. As of October 11th, Pope went before Judge Dominic Owens of Florence County, where he was allowed to speak his piece at his bond hearing. He was reminded that this was a bond hearing and not a trial. He was also denied a public defender due to his financial status, and he was denied bond due to being a flight risk and having out-of-town ties. Also, Megan Raymer with the Attorney General's office stated that this is an ongoing human trafficking investigation. There has been a number of victims that have been identified and are in the process of being identified. And it's due to that reason that they requested that the bond be denied and that request was granted. Some of those girls were as young as 13 and 14 years old. Now the adult women on the other hand, that's a whole other story. You wanted a white zaddy so bad that you decided to trade in your clean bill of health for concert tickets, for $200 gift cards, for pictures with celebrities, and for the gift that keeps on giving? Really? You just skipped over Pookie and Ray Ray. You said, let me get a bottom shelf Brad, the one with that package. 
man look y'all get down in the comment section let me know what you all think about this as far as my thoughts this is crazy all right y'all okay guys thanks for watching don't forget to click like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss future commentary